Morning guys, Sunday morning. Uh, it's Tush coming at you. Just about to head out to the garage and I'm looking at the outside temperature. 0. 0.6 degrees Celsius. So it's probably going to be pretty darn cold in the garage. But uh, I'm on my way out. So we'll see what it's like out there. Oh see yeah, you. definitely a chilly one. Uh, going to have to work faster I guess. Anyway, I'm going to start uh, going back, working on that fender. I'm going to uh, go grab some... Uh, old scrap sheet metal. Uh, I think I have an old hood that I can cut up for that repair piece. So that's what I'm going to do. Head out to the backyard, grab that piece, and uh, we'll set up a work table and we'll get on her. So there's bit. the old hood guys. I've been cutting uh, little pieces out of it as need be to uh, do some of the uh, sheet metal repairs on the body. So uh, what I need to do is find a piece here. So we're going to do something like that. We'll cut that piece out have a nice flat piece to work with so that's the next step cut a piece of scrap and we'll make it into this piece all right we'll come back in a little bit I figured it while well. I was cutting I'd cut a little bit bigger piece I know I can use some scrap for uh, some other repairs I need to make so uh, I got a little bigger than I need but I figured while I was cutting it from the hood I might as well cut it so anyway we got lots of room for that and we'll use the rest to make something else anyway I'm gonna clean that up and we'll mark it out and we'll make another cut. Okay guys, got the piece uh, pounded down flat and I've got it marked out on a piece, uh, on a piece of sheet metal. So I'm going to uh, probably have to do uh, a few different cuts with the... Uh, I'm going to do the cutting wheel first just to trim the access and then I'll probably go in with a pair of tin snips to finish uh, the fine cutting. So that's the plan. I don't have a plasma cutter or anything fancy so uh, We'll do the best we can with what I got. All right, I'll come back when it's done. Yeah, let's pull that here. Damn. Shine on, you crazy heat lamp. All right. There's the old piece. And there's the new piece. That uh, looks pretty good. Use all the tools in my arsenal to make it. Doesn't seem to be that complex, but all the cutting and drilling and grinding and shaping and anyway, it's done. So uh, it looks better. I mean, I could have used this piece if worse came to worse. Could have ground it down, got that bondo off, maybe straightened it out a bit more. But you know what? The new metal looks uh, a lot nicer. Wasn't that hard to create it. So, um, yeah, we'll go with that. So, on to the next step. Talk to you later. Okay, guys, quick update for you. Um, I threw that in the uh, sand blaster to clean it up a little bit, so uh, it's looking a little bit better. Uh, clean that edge up, clean the flange up. Uh, I think we're ready to go ahead and... Uh, and attach these two pieces so I think that's the next step for me I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spot weld these together hopefully my tips are uh, small enough to spot weld these anyway we'll uh, we'll give it a shot and we'll come back thanks hey guys just a quick update that uh, piece is now spotted together so that's what it looks like and okay lines up uh, pretty good with the old piece I can get it down here. It looks okay. So anyway, we'll uh, see if I can get her to fit in the fender. Uh, after I'm going to investigate uh, fixing that flange first, but anyway, this, this piece is done. So I'll move on to the next piece. Hey guys, good afternoon. Okay, um, quick update. Um, I've got that piece uh, welded in now. Um, it is looking better. I haven't quite finished welding uh, the top. I've just got a tack there on the uh, top and uh, got a couple tacks there on the bottom, but uh, just need to finish weld that. But uh, yeah, it, uh, it looks okay. It looks better than it was, let's say. I don't, it's still not perfect, and actually uh, I've got to go back and do a little bit of welding because I've discovered uh, there's actually some very, there's actually a little crack in there. You probably can't see it, but you can see where that little bit of bondo is. There's actually a crack just right on the edge of the fender. 
where the metal's gotten very weak and thin. Anyway, I think the flange is it's much, much better than it was. I am going to uh, put it up to the valence and just give it a quick test fit. Uh, like I said, it's not, it's not perfect. It's as good as I can get it. It's much better than what it was, um, I think, anyway. So I'm going to give it uh, a test fit, and uh, I'll take a shot of it when it's on the car. All right, guys. Hey, guys. Touch coming back at you. It's uh, going to be the final update of the day. So I've got the fender back on the car, but it's pretty hard to get a accurate uh, representation of how this is going to look in the end. So you see, actually, I think you can see maybe that the fender has got a much better line to it now than it did before. I do have this uh, little piece here to weld up. It's got a bit of a break in it right at the seam, and you can see it had been bondoed over before. So I've got to repair that. But the problem is now where they had made the, res the recess on the valence side uh, for that big push out or stick out that was on the fender, that still remains. So I've basically got to go back in now and reform the uh, reform the valence and pound that back out. You can actually see it actually comes in and goes back out. So I think once I uh, get the valence off and pound that back to where it should be, I think it's going to look a whole lot better than it is. The one good thing about these cars as well is that there's actually a, a, a set of beading that goes in between these fenders as well. So it does help out with the uh, the appearance in the end as well. So, so uh, yeah. So I think I'm happy with that. Like I said, I've got to do that small repair, and then I got to work on the valence, which is, which needs a lot of work. But uh, that'll be for another day. So uh, I'll go in and upload this, and I'm going to relax for the rest of the day. Hope you guys have a great uh, afternoon and evening. Talk to you later.